installé avec aussi peu de monde. Oui, mais... Hey guys, okay, so I'm at a refugee camp that has been set up by the French government and NGOs at a place called Porte de la Chapelle. I definitely pronounced that wrong, but it is in Paris and it is right by a train station where they constantly every day have a massive flow of migrants coming in from all over the place. Uh, and I gotta say, as usual, this perception that it is a bunch of Syrians and children and women has just been blown out of the water by walking on the ground here and looking at who's living in this tent city. And once again, it is almost entirely North Africans and it's almost entirely fighting age men. And what's going on with this one here is they've kind of got this walled off area where they keep around 500 migrants inside and then the rest kind of live on the streets and they filter them in and out and then transfer them from this area to different parts of France. And this, there's also this notion along with the one that these are Syrian refugees that this issue is going away. It's not. Our media just isn't covering it anymore. There are still mass amounts of migrants coming in. Hundreds are arriving at the train every day. I just spoke to a security guard who told me that. He said they just arrive and then they transfer them into other parts of France. A friend of mine, he said he was going to France like three, four months ago. I saw him yesterday. I said, how'd you like France? He said, I wouldn't go to France. I wouldn't go to France because France is no longer France. France is no longer France. They won't like me for saying that, but you see what happened in Nice, you see what happened yesterday with the priest who was supposed to be a spectacular man. France is no longer France. And this world better be very careful and they better get very tough and very smart.